welcome back. I'm sorry I've been away for so long. I know a lot of you have been asking me where the videos are. So both me and Matt were ill for a week and we were just dead for the whole week. And coming back, trying to film after you've had a break is harder than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't know what to film, I didn't know what you guys wanted to see, so I thought a lot has changed within the two weeks that I've not filmed. So I'm gonna do a walk around of all the cars, show you everything that's changed, everything that we've got ideas for, and just, yeah, do a big update for you and hopefully you like it. Kevin's also been poorly as well. Yesterday, Matt took him on a walk and he came back and he had a really fat face. I think he got stung by something, so, but he's all better now. The BMW 140i slash M2, whatever you want to call it. For the vivid viewers of Matt's channel, you will know what has happened to this car. He has taken the whole front end of an M2, stuck it on a 140i, and uh, wrapped it. But the one thing that you probably don't know about this car, because he hasn't filmed it, is a new interior. Actually, one of Matt's subscribers got in contact with me and asked if he could basically swap his black interior for our red interior. And we didn't really like the red interior. It kind of clashed with the blue. So we were like, yeah. So he came down yesterday on a Sunday, bless him. And him and Matt came and uh, swapped this interior. So now the interior is all black uh, and it's not so offensive against the blue. No, go away, go away. Apart from that, I think this car is pretty much done, but I know that Matt does not want to- Pretty wanna... much done? No, 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 He just doesn't want to get rid of it. <laughs> there's, there's loads to do that. What? Uh, tune it, stage two, possibly stage three, do some drag races against some other cars, take it on the track, diff, get rear diff because the standard diff is rubbish. M4 seats, needs to get M4 seats in it because the stock seats are rubbish. Maybe upgrade the dashboard because that's rubbish. Maybe upgrade the head unit thing in my bob because that's rubbish and that's about it. Okay, so there's a lot more than I thought. <laughs> Moving on to my car, it's actually being worked on at the minute. I'm, um, or what's happened? Well, I don't really know. I'm just, <laughs> just sort of painting this bit to make it look like that bit, and then uh, I'm going to put it back together. There's no MOT on it now. It's ran out, so that means we'll get MOT. So that means whatever I do is got to be legit. So it passes an MOT, and this being yellow, although it would pass an MOT, it looks stupid. So I've got to make it back, making it look proper now. Don't worry. Not too boring. The whole front of it is going to be blue, um, which is going to be a problem. No, only the bonnet, bumper, and the wing is going to be blue. That's just what I said. The whole you said front. The whole front. Not that side. Every minute it's yellow. Okay, most of the front of it is going to be blue, so it's not going to be the best to drive around in. But at least it'll be roadworthy, and it'll be on the road and drivable. You learn something new every day, apparently. These are only on RS5 and S5s? Yeah. And RS6s and oh, RS7s. Okay, so. But you're not on the Bogo standard stuff. These are desirable. Okay. Keep them. <laughs> Okay, so we'll keep these, but I don't like the window trim. Of course they really And are. I, I've literally just noticed now that it has got silver window trim, so that's gonna have to go. <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> okay, as that is drying with a layer of apparently metallic paint, um, let's go talk about Panther Lambo. Panther black. Panther black paint. Mm. Not as black as the Lamborghini. Lambo is about 820 horsepower at the minute, thanks to two twin turbos strapped to the back of it fitted by push performance and re performance two cyvex standalone ecus at the minute we're going to push for well it's 820 horse but we're going to push for a thousand horsepower it needs a fuel pump and that's why we can't push it any further because we were requesting fuel it's not getting it so we need a bigger fuel pump which is actually in the tank push performance are doing that when that's done i'll go there we'll put it in thousand horsepower at the minute is ridiculously quick am i going to get a rear bumper no the reason why i leave a rear bumper off is obviously to show all the work that's been done and everything like that and is it costs like an absolute fortune to do all this and it's been like a dream to do it like since i was like I, god knows how long i remember just first ever seeing one without a rear bumper in twin turbos on i thought that is absolutely crazy why should i put a bumper on just because some other people are like oh it needs a bumper like this literally is just me 
all over. It's completely original. This kit is, you won't see this kit on any other car. You won't see this exhaust on any other car. Everything has been custom made, even down to my zip tied um, number plate on, which we are gonna make a bracket to fit here. People ask if it's legal or not. Um, it is actually legal as long as you have um, reflectors on the rear, which I don't have yet, but I'm gonna put two reflectors on the rear and then number plate lights as well, and then it's fine. Like, um, and some people have asked as well, what about if people like touch it, they're gonna burn themselves, it's not safe. Well, you shouldn't really be touching other people's cars anyway. I think on a motorbike as well, the exhaust exposed as well, so if you wouldn't go up to a motorbike after it's just stopped and go, oh look, like, and touch it, you you just wouldn't. Um, but uh, this car is li literally mad, like actually mad. It's full custom wheels on it as well. All MA logos all over the place. I don't exactly, you know, it's one of them things, you know, like when you, you sort of have goals and aspirations to do something and then when you finally do it you literally don't know what to do with yourself because now i've done it i'm like <laughs> now <laughs> now what like literally what <laughs> like that's how i'm exactly how i'm am now like i'm like well, I've, I've done this now now what is the next thing so i i honestly don't know i'm just gonna keep enjoying this until i think of something else to do but i can't see myself getting rid of this but well you never know um but no it's absolutely crazy Good work. One thing Matt didn't mention is that he actually fitted an airlift air ride system and a 3P management system to this car. That created so much buzz around this car because not many people put air rides on Lamborghinis, but apparently Matt does. He's actually fitted it. You can see it back here. There's the tank <laughs> right next to your head. Uh, it sounds so sick though. Like we've had a few cars that were on air ride. The Maserati, the Mustang was on air ride and you couldn't really hear it. I mean, I guess that's a good thing that you can't hear it, but I like to be able to hear, you know, the ch of it going down. Future plans for them. So, although the black is absolutely sick, it's like spotless. There's like, there is a few stone chips on, but they are from me. This car's only done like 11,000 miles. So what I want to do is sort of protect it. Not going to PPF it because it's boring. I actually bought some wrap for it. I bought wrap literally months ago and I've not done it yet because I think I'm partly scared and partly it just takes a lot of effort to wrap it. So I will wrap it at some point um, because I don't want to keep putting miles on it with it being black and getting stone chips all over the place. So I am going to wrap it and it is a really cool design wrap. Like it's one that I've never done before and uh, it's going to be hard. It's also going to be scary because you don't want to scratch it. Um, but I think that's a good idea. On to the next car. It is two days later and I have a good reason for that. Yesterday we were so busy and this is one of the reasons why. I don't know if you can see behind me but Matt now has a two post ram. Now he's wanted and needed one of these for such a long time. Doing exhausts on cars is really difficult on that small ramp and now uh, it will be able to stand up and not break his back. So my car's on it for the minute. Uh, a little tiny update, the wing is now on, all this is painted or spray painted, uh, so it all looks sort of legit, <laughs> but it is getting better and uh, yeah, exciting stuff to come with this new ramp. Another thing that happened yesterday was we did the first high speed competitions uh, raffle and one of the cars that were on it was Matt's M4, so let's talk about that one now. So yes, it's true, Matt's M4 will be going. I am going to be really sad to see this car go. It has been actually one of my favourites. It wasn't at the start. I'm not really too keen on BMWs but this one's kind of special. So a huge congratulations to Chris Hibbert who won this car. I'm really going to enjoy dropping this off to you. And a big congratulations to all the other winners of the M4 competition. <laughs> we had £3,000 winner, a £1,000 winner and a £100 to spend on High Speed Competitions website. I just want to say a big shout out to High Speed Competitions for their first raffle yesterday. Everything seemed to go quite smoothly and we got really nice comments from you guys. This John Cooper Works Mini is now available on High Speed Competitions website for a discounted price of £2.99. Now the raffle on this Mini will end Tuesday the 28th of September so so you better get your tickets in now. Moving swiftly on to the Maserati. Now I did touch base on this a little bit in the last video when I did the Q&A with Matt. He does want to keep this car 
He loves it. It's one of one. Everyone knows this is Matt Armstrong's car. So no, there isn't really anything we've got planned modification wise, but you know, we're open to getting it wrapped or painted. We absolutely love this car. It's one of a kind, as you know, and I don't think we'll be getting rid of it anytime soon. Not just because we don't want to get rid of it, but probably because no one else wants it. And now on to the BMW M3 E46. This is the second oldest car we own and it's got a bit of wear and tear. It doesn't look too bad from afar, but uh, the closer you get, the worse it gets. <laughs> so we haven't actually touched this car since we've got it, but we've bought a lot of items to uh, to to get it looking a little bit fresher, shall we say. Such as new BMW replica alloys and new tires. We've got some black leather interior as the interior of this car is, yeah, it's questionable. So if anyone wants a gray interior for an E46, uh, let me know. I am really excited to see this car finished and watch the journey of it change. This is one of the first restorations Matt's done on his channel. We are planning to get it painted and not wrapped. Engine runs really smoothly for how old it is and for what it's been through. This car was actually an X-Track car. And when I say X-Track car, I mean X-Track car. Look at the slicks on these tires. I mean, obviously they're deflated, so they're no longer usable. Hence the new alloys and the new tires that we need to put on it. So in the next few days, they're gonna go on and it's actually gonna be drivable rather than and uh, yeah, um, this. The color of this car is one of the main reasons Matt bought it. Laguna Seca Blue. I mean, it doesn't even show up on camera how beautiful this car is. It's more of like a sea blue. I think it's showing up like quite a dark blue. It is phenomenal how good the paintwork is, but there are some little bits here and there that are rusty that we do need to have touched up. So we will be getting that done professionally, of course. Okay, the last car I have to update you on is the GT86 but unfortunately it's not here so instead I'm gonna ask Matt a few questions about it while he's working on my car. Okay where is the GT86? It's at Colour Craft. And why is it a Colour Craft? <laughs> because they are painting it, well priming it, the body kit, sorting out all the little like holes and imperfections and this that, and the other and then once it leaves there, then I'm gonna go get some wheels on it, probably gonna wrap it, then we're gonna go drifting in it, we're gonna learn how to drift. <laughs> Probably too much of a nice car for it to be drifted around actually, but because the wheels are really nice, Wheel Mania have got some wheels for it, they look sick. But that's the other thing, it's probably not got enough power to drift, so we need turbos on it or a new engine, I don't know yet, I haven't decided. Probably turbos, but that is going to be cool if we can boost it, then that's how we're going to drift the GT86. Okay, that's the update on all of mine and Matt's cars. There was more than I thought there was going to be, to be fair, so I am really sorry if this is long and just a lot of talking. Um, I am going to try and post more regularly, regularly, but it's so hard to think of what to film, so if there's anything you want to see, uh, let me know in the comments, but thank you for watching this video, and and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So you think you were right? Mm -hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight.